Well, this is it. I'm going to Yomacon 2011. And all packed up. But since I didn't get a flight or any method of transportation, I'm going to find my own way to get to Detroit. It's crazy, but I hope it works. Fuck all y'all. And fly away! When you cast your spell, you will get your way. When you hypnotize with your eyes, the heart of stone can turn to clay. Now, instead of like doing a recap at the end like I usually do, I'm just gonna just start with some very brief stuff, then I'm just gonna explain what I got, then have all the footage I got in pictures, like just explain the rest so I don't have to repeat myself. Uh, I'll just start by saying that Yomacon 2011, 2011? Yeah, it was 2011. <laughs> Keep thinking about to say 2012, which is this year. And the con happened, you know, last year, whatever. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun, but I'll just say that that, that was probably just kind of a one-off thing. That was just something like, uh, I'll try and go, and I ended up going all alone by flight, which was actually not that long, like a two-hour flight, so whatever. Uh, the con itself was pretty fun. The layout was a little bit confusing because it was like, you know, all circular, so I wasn't exactly used to it, and well, you know, just I'm not familiar with the territory, so. Yeah, it was interesting to uh, see what this con was like in person. Um, what else was there? Uh, oh, right, uh, John St. John was there again. He was at Kanatacon, the voice of Duke Nukem. I think that's why I went. Actually, no, that wasn't why I went. That could have been a reason, but there were other reasons. Linkara from That Guy With The Glasses was there and stuff. Um, actually ended up not doing that much aside from, like, attending panels that John and uh, Linkara were in, like, one each, then just did whatever. Uh, the place had a pretty good gaming room with a lot of arcade machines. I actually got to finally play House of the Dead 4 as Barry Burton, no less, so that kind of was uh, pretty funny. Um... Yeah, I was happy with the game room there. It was a lot of fun, and, um... Only thing, though, was that the Rockman setup kind of, eh... Like, it, the calibration on it fell off. Yes, I do take that into account, so... Might be a little biased, but right now, Kineticon's Rockman setup is still not being beat by anything else I've seen, personally. Uh, aside from that, there really isn't much to talk about that the videos that are coming up don't really cover, so let's just go ahead and uh, start with... What I got signed and what I basically bought in Detroit. Um, first off, uh, I ended up having this comic be signed by Linkara and 8-Bit Mickey from the Game Heroes since he was there helping Linkara, I believe. Uh, he, Linkara reviewed Future 5, which my own college actually had two volumes of, and at the time I found Volume 1 and just picked it up because they said it was free and they had a billion. I'm like, fine. One day if I link, meet Link Carl, I'll just have him sign this, and there you go. I actually do have a video of the signing, so it might seem a bit awkward, but whatever. That's that. Um, as for John St. John, I had him sign like three things this time. I, around the time between Kineticon and this, I actually got Duke Nukem Zero Hour signed by him. and got it on the front. Uh, I think I also took a page from, I believe it was Angel Halo that did this. I It was one of the other guys. Uh, from Kineticon, like one of my other friends. Uh, had him sign Sonic Adventure since I picked this up for like maybe three dollars I think, so he wrote that. Kinda love the quote that he put on there, it says, I'm so big if you can't see it. Uh, and also, this may be a bit deja vu, but Duke Nukem Forever, except this is the Xbox 360 version and not the free PC version he gave me. Yeah, I have two copies, so what? Yeah, that's about it for signing. I didn't actually buy that much from this con, because, you know, didn't have that much money, but I tried. Uh, ended up getting, like, uh, 2k on plushies, whoop de doo Uh, Wandy and Scott actually helped me with, uh, the smaller one, which I still feel bad about, but, you know, I, I still gotta say thanks for that, but I still feel like shit for that. Uh, however, uh, the boys, we all decided to, uh, pitch in on one game, uh, and that was Fighter Maker. If you don't know what Fire Maker is, just watch this clip and you'll see what I mean. Now, we all decided.
decided to pitch in like a certain amount, but we never decided who would have it and it ended up going to me. Here's the thing though, I don't know what to do with this. Like, in the clip you just saw that I borrowed from YouTube, um, I want to try and make something like that just for Kineticon so the boys can like play the absurd crap I made on this. But the thing is, even doing something as absurd as that is overly complicated in this. It might take me years to figure out actually how to make a fighter in Fighter Maker. I mean, it comes with like this 50 hour instruction book. And it's like on a two disc thing, except the game is only one disc long. It just had to fit the instruction book in the giant side of it. So, will I ever figure this game out? Maybe. Someday. But, I just hope to god I can pull off as something as crazy as, you know, that shit. Uh, I also ended up uh, getting a Monster Hunter figure, which, in the boxes, they're like usually random, like they've got like, you can get one of these, you know, think of it as like a random McDonald's toy, except not at McDonald's. Um, I ended up getting a Bear Off, which I'm like, eh, okay, I don't, I hate Bear Off fighting him, but... It's a good figure, actually. Uh, it looks pretty nice in my room. Last thing I bought, which... At the the gaming dealer's room this year, or like, not this year, I haven't been to Yomacon, but... This, uh, dealer's room had, like, overpriced games, mainly, I believe, because they were, like, brand new, so that's why the prices were, like, jacked up, because, uh... Paper Mario Thousand Year Door was, like, a hundred dollars there, I'm like, no way. But the only reasonable price one, brand new, sealed uh, game that I got was the original Super Nintendo F-Zero. As you can tell, since November I have not opened this. Because all I had to do if I wanted to open this and actually play this was do this video. So um, I'm actually recording it now so I can actually open this and play it. You know, I, I just wanted to like just show off that. This is what it came in, and this was $20. I think that was well spent considering uh, the condition it is in. Like, absolutely brand new sealed. Quite frankly, that's all the crap it bought. I think uh, the videos I got will just explain the rest of the con for you. So, this is unreal, and let's just hope to God I can actually make videos in a timely manner again. See ya. <laughs>
really long and just really awesome because it was like all colorful and shit. I wish our airport had that, but whatever. And that's him calling me on the phone, so I guess that's it. Man. This thing takes an annoyingly long time to pick up directions, so I'm hoping it does that before we hit the highway. Yeah. Like, remember how I got here. Bear. Scott picked me up from the airport, now I have to endure Bear Force Bear. one hour. Yay! Bear. Thank you. Whoa. I would record this entire trip just for Bear Force Bear. one hour, but wait, I there can't. is something you need to hear from. From what? Fuck. Start all over! Oh no. Oh no. What did you put on? Why is it playing Steve Blackman's theme? I don't know. At least it's not Buff Daddy. Yet. Yeah, not yet. I know you put that in Bear Force one hour. I know all your tricks. I'm gonna make me scroll through the entire song list. Except if player sucks, by the way. It's oh. the cheapest one I can find. I know iPods are more expensive, but eh, whatever. This is going to take forever! Where's that black guy dancing? <laughs> it's too dark to see anything, but he's drumming. Uh, yeah, this traffic sucks. There it is! What is with that billboard? <laughs> Your kid's hiding drugs! 101 of them, in fact! Drugs! <laughs> uh, I think there's an accident up ahead. Really? This song? You know I'm sexy! Yeah, you got nothing to say to that. Yeah, we think there's an accident up ahead, and that's why the traffic is happening. Hope to God it speeds up after we get past that, though. After about like, I, I, I think like 20 minutes, got out of that traffic. Yeah, at least 20 minutes, got out of that traffic, so. The entire highway was closed off and they funneled everyone into the exit. But did, we don't even know why it was closed off. There were just flares everywhere. Not sure if it was an accident or they're repairing something. We don't know. It's just flares, don't go here. It shouldn't be that much longer. At least we're moving. This line goes all the way around this to there, then to here, finally back here. Yeah, I'm just documenting how this line is so confusing and long and broken up. Oh. The line starts at the end, they said. Where's the end?
again, I have a little giveaway. What I have here is one Romulan bird of prey and one Romulan warbird. Both of them the Playmates toys from the mid-90s in boxes. Mind you, I have not opened them to make sure, but they look like they're okay in there. <laughs> I had originally bought them as uh, birthday presents for my brother, but he has no space for them. So instead, I'm going to give them to, well, I'll give one of them to one of you and another one to another one. Burn of a top the fourth wall live. This is the second live show I've ever done, so there may still be some kinks to work out with all of this. First and foremost, you'll notice that I am reading from a script. Yeah. It, if that fact offends you in some capacity, then you are a sad human being. <laughs> you may also notice that I am wearing a seventh Doctor cosplay. <laughs> that has nothing to do with what we're taking a look at today. I just felt like wearing it. Now, since this is a live show, occasionally I may slur my words or mispronounce something, and for that I apologize in advance. We could do second takes for these jokes, but frankly, you probably won't find the first takes funny anyway. <laughs> well, yep, at least I think it's the Hulk. There was a manga vs. Avengers story, and he kind of looks like the Hulk, and he's a giant monster, so I'm just going to call him the Hulk. <laughs> With giant kaiju Hulk attacking, it forces Venom and Spidey onto a wall, where Spidey uses his claw things to grasp onto it. Look at your technique. We truly are of the same school. You have nothing in common with me. Okay. No kidding. Different color schemes, massive size difference, and your text balloons are the complete opposite color. <laughs> Listen, boy. He may have been your sensei, but he was my father. <laughs> Long story, I'll get into it for the commentary. More or less, missing number scares the hell out of me. Hi, Linkara. You may have covered this before. <laughs> that was How do you want it? Anywhere. Like, you can write anything you want. No, Those were at my colleges for free, so might as well. This comic sucks. Bet so it does. insulting. I saw volume two, so that's not reassuring yeah, either. I need to get volume two. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you, too. All right. Bye. The hedgehog is two. No doubt about it. Does it have a name? Chase. Chase. Luckily, it was the last uh, day of shooting before um, we went into like a little bit of a hiatus. So I had a little bit of time to, to heal, but I came back from the hiatus. I had a big brace on for about a year, uh, and a year and a half on the show, and I kept re-tearing it um, because it just was, some of the stunts we, we did were pretty crazy. Um, so that was a bad day for me. <laughs> 
I haven't done any mocap, so um, hearing about Ruben's badassery, I definitely can no longer complain about screaming for four hours and losing my voice because that's really about all that, that happened to me. So, you know. Yes, hello again. You might remember me from Kineticon. Yes, you're unreal. Thank you. I bought that copy too. It's one of those things that you bought it. Yep. Are you rolling? Yes, I'm rolling. You paid cash for this? Yes, I do. God bless you. Well, you gave me a free copy, so you deserve cash. Yeah. Well, you put my kids through college. God bless you. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. I got a few more. You know, I better take that out of there because it'll. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. The signature will rub right off of the plastic. Yeah, you did that to the PC copy, but it's it's still there in perfect condition. Oh. So you haven't messed with it since, huh? Nope. All right, man. I've also got zero yeah, hour. Zero hour. Cool. Also, I am so sorry. Oh, you I am so sorry. And I'll put I'm so big. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, dude, zero hour. Yep. <laughs> oh man, Sonic, that's not good. I know, I, I feel terrible yeah, about it. I'm really no, I don't, it's a part stand. of my history. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, sorry. I just like At least I acknowledge that you're in it, though. I just like making a joke out of it, because it really is a stupid voice. Yeah. Anybody can talk like this. I didn't notice that until like... Nice seeing you again, John. My pleasure. For every single thing that goes wrong to you, the character has to explain how it went wrong. <laughs> the audience determines that your story is good, and I mean dirty enough, you get to rest for the week. If they don't, we're going on. <laughs> so Anastasia, how did you break your arm, you poor misunderstood prostitute? <laughs> So uh, looks like they're fighting, uh, fighting what appears to be some kind of plant slash. It's a giant banana. It, yeah, some, it's a grouping of bananas with a face, and it's, it's very unhappy to see you. Yay. All right, guys. Uh, little tip: don't get hit. Pro tip: don't die. Okay, it looks like they're off to a pretty decent start for an underwater kind of mission. Folks, Linkara ordering at McDonald's. That is all.